Let's see. Gonna, gonna grab one. Gonna up and down and all around. Get it all nice. Good and nice. Okay. All right. This this is a pink one. This is from last year that did not get drawn. The game is Natsuki Crisis Battle on the Super Famicom, and uh, the submitter is Orky Bork. And much like the game that we just did, it is to complete the third fight in story mode. So uh, Natsuki Crisis Battle. So I, I obviously this is a Japanese game. If the name didn't give it away, then the fact that it's for the Super Famicom probably did. Natsuki Crisis Battle. That I, I don't even know. I don't even know what to expect from this one. Like straight up, I have no idea. So uh, Orky Bork, like I said, th this could be the year of Orky Bork because this is one of the many challenges he submitted in 2019 that just didn't get drawn. Like none of his got drawn last year, which was statistically improbable considering he had like half of the box of just his challenges but here we go let's hop let's switch on over let's knock this one out made in japan you don't say all right i'm digging this so far oh yeah that was good artwork can't read it i can read that though where, where, where are we at in terms of sound, actually? I mean, look at the... Okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. Sound levels. Uh, Retro Arch seems to be pretty good about sound levels. So, okay. Story mode. Versus battle. Hyaku. Edit. Option. I'm gonna go to option. Okay, the computer level's already set to dumb, so... They're... <laughs> I had to check. Story mode. We gotta beat the third battle. Okay. I'm just gonna... I guess I'm just gonna skip that because I can't read it. What? What? Who am I... Okay, who am I... Am I fighting another student? We got any moves here? We got voice samples though. That's <laughs> If you're being if you're being approached by a man, drive your palm into his nose, it'll break his cartilage and put it up in his brain. Obviously, as a fighting game, uh, if I knew the combo system, that'd be a little bit better. Okay. Oh, he got me with something there. I noticed I have, like, a stamina bar. Uh, yeah, because I'm going to get up, I'm going to be confused. Holy shit, he really... Okay. Oh, good. I got you back to the corner, bitch. Come on. What do you want? Sweep kick. Sweep the legs. Sweep the legs. A little trick I learned from uh, Ryu. <laughs> Fuck you, a win's a win. <laughs> I'm not doing enough near enough damage to this asshole. <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't know how to do any of these moves. Oh no! I'm now now I'm now I'm I, I'm out of breath. I'm confused. I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna cheese strat this asshole. Come here. Come here. Okay, he figured that out. No, he hasn't figured it out. This is before the age of adaptive AI. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <laughs> right, it all comes down to this. Oh my god, and he opens with one of those again. I should have known. How's, how's he doing? How's he doing this? 
Oh, what was that? I did something. Look, I did something. I just, I just gotta hit him with that now. I, I can't. He's just, he's too far. Oh, 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 oh yeah! Look at that! I found a combo. No, 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 no. Shit, that's no good. That's no, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. No, he's gonna kill me again. Okay, hang on. We gotta. <laughs> I can't. I can't afford to lose. <laughs> I, I literally can't. He's gonna. I knew he's gonna fucking do that. You telegraph that shit. Yeah, I know. Oh shit. No, 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 no. no. Stop. 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 No. Yes. Sweep kick. <laughs> That's one down. That's one down. Stage two. Okay. I got Clash two. Oh, girl fight. She doesn't know that I have the skillful. Come on over here. <laughs> oh shit, she got a grab. Uh, what is the range on that? What are you- is this fucking Dalsim? Excuse me. Actually, this is more like Blanca. To be honest. Oh my god. She, she like clotheslined me. <laughs> Holy shit. She, yeah, she got me. I don't know. I don't think she's a kindergartner at all. I th there's something certain. There's something wrong with her. What is this move? That's the, that's the stanky leg right there. Got a little bit of stank. Put some stank on it. It's like a, it's like a char- Oh, that's a dodge. Okay, so if she comes at me, I can dodge and I can slide in. I can jump back and slide in. Oh, okay. No, it's actually only when you're going towards them. Okay, so she knows about that now. She just waited her turn until she could grab me. <laughs> no. Hopefully I can I can continue from right from right here. She looks like a character from like Clock Tower. This setting looks like a room in Clock Tower. I'm waiting for the scissor man to come out. I'm fucking Angus Young. I can't I can't lose. I have to. I have to. I gotta. I gotta do the cheat. The cheat sweep. Is she at least taking shape damage from all this? Oh damn it! I wasn't holding down. I think she killed me. That's a win. So, I w uh, do I get to continue? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I would like to know how to do what she's doing. <laughs> Fucking hell! It's like being, it's like, oh, I'm, I'm still alive. No, I'm not, no, I'm not. It's like being strangled by a really weak midget. Okay, what if I press both shoulder buttons? What does that do? 
What, is, what does that do if I do bolt? Well, I can't even figure it out now because you won't stop hitting me. Actually, I don't think it matters because that's not an imp... <laughs> She's been watching like WWE or something. I don't even... I can't even compete with this. These damn... These damn Japanese fighting games, man. Yeah, she's doing some Captain America ass. Yeah. It's like lunging across the stage and shit. <laughs> that opening move though. Just the just the, that that desperate lunge to kick her in the face. Do oh, you, you think you can you can't get away from me? You can't you can't escape the sweep. The supermarket sweep. Next time you're at the checkout counter and you hear the beep. <laughs> I'm just I'm gonna have to do this. This is not this is not the most glamorous way of fighting. This is not fighting with this is not winning with honor. This is falling with style. Okay? Fuck. But you think just because you're shorter than me that you're better than me? Come on, let your guard let your guard down. Come on, I'm about to slide into them DMs. This kid does have adaptive AI. She's reading my button inputs. I swear to God, like she's jumping back. Like at she's got like perfect timing on jumping back. Like I, I refuse to believe that this is this is real. We're, just gonna, we're gonna run the clock down on this. We're gonna have to. See, I feel like I should have been able to hit her while she was prone. Oh, will you give me a thumbs down? Well, it looks like I got one of these. Remember, cool cat loves you. <laughs> Shit. See, like right there, I feel like I, I can kick her from the back and, la and land like a kind of a cheap shot. But like right there, like when she jumps back, like as I'm coming at her, I feel like that's got to be button input being read right there, man. That's... Like that's like frame perfect response. There's like there's like, there's no way. Again, the com level's at one too, so I feel like that should be to a minimum. Then again, I am just I am fighting her in the cheapest manner possible. Gotcha. You lose. You're out. Get out of get out of my school! I'm gonna hit you with one of them weights in the back next. All right, coming up. We got. Oh man, that's a that's a mega package on that guy. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Sweep kick time. Oh, that is what we in the biz call a brick shit house. Oh my god. All right, man. I'm going to take you out. Check these moves out. He 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 walks very strangely. When he stands up, he's at the perfect height to get punched in the dick. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
all of my moves are going to be focused on his groin area. I feel like that's probably going to be the weak spot. Because he's so roided up, he's got to have very tiny balls. So it's, it's going to be a hard target, but if I can if I can get in there, you know that's what it's that's what it's gonna that's what it's gonna come down to. <laughs> See, look at him like just jumping back like like already. I, he's reading my shit. Look at that. There's no, there's no way there's no way he's not reading. This game doesn't just read inputs. That's like the worst AI to have in a game. That's like not even trying AI. That's why I don't feel bad for just slide kicking these assholes into oblivion. Like, fuck off. I mean, we're gonna the, the timer's gonna run out on this one, but I, I since we have a since we have an attempt going, I'm gonna I'm gonna consider this the, the last attempt, and if, if I lose the fights, then that's it, I'm out. I think I kind of got him figured out. Yeah, that's time. That's okay. I got one more round, so I'm just gonna go ahead. I know we, we are gonna go a little bit past 15, but since again, since we have an active challenge going on right now, and I haven't died yet, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna let this one go th go to the go to the clock. Cause cause then even like hypothetically, if like you know the timer over there hits 15, and I still have more health than him, technically I I still would have won anyways. So. Cause that's what we're that's what we're working toward. Okay, so we just passed the 15 minute mark. So if 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 I if I lose this round, I'll consider the challenge failed. Let's just at least finish the because we're on the final round. Come on, asshole. <laughs> you and your damn purple shorts. Who did <laughs> that stupid walk you do? Come on over here. Get over here. Come on. Come on. I might actually beat him and not let the time go out this time. I mean, maybe. There's a chance. Anything can happen. There it is! That's a win right there! That's... That is three battles down! Natsuki Crisis Battle. Complete the third fight in story mode. I don't think we get... I, we don't got enough time to beat up a cop. But that's a win! Orky Bork, so far, the only person whose challenges I've won. So far. <laughs> there it is! Three wins, three wins, five losses. I gotta say, this game, I'm not feeling this one as much as the others. I, this is like, I don't think, have, have we done a side, we haven't done a side-scrolling fighting game yet, like at all. So, the one thing I hate about side-scrolling fighters is when they're clearly just reading like frame-perfect inputs. Like, you, you could see whenever I would do the slide kick and lunge at somebody, like on that exact frame that AI would jump backwards, like that's, that is inhuman. Like, that's unreal. That's ridiculous. So, I mean, so, I, I don't like that, but I'm sure if I could read Japanese, I would probably be interested in what this game is about. The sprite work is, is really great from what I can, you know, from what we've seen. It's got little cutscenes and little dialogue boxes, and it's not just, like, pick a fighter and then beat the hell out of each other and work yourself up the damn Mortal Kombat ladder. I mean, this is actually, there's some, there's some, there's clearly some meat on the bones here. And Orky Bork says this game is much more fun when you're playing against an actual person. So I guess that means, you know, you would have 
uh, you'd be able to pick a character, your opponent can pick a character, and I, I guess I wouldn't be locked into playing as uh, Natsuki, I guess. I guess I wouldn't be locked into playing as her. I could play as the Purple Shorts Man if I wanted to. <laughs> Or something like that. Unless it's like Rise of the Robots, my fucking god is that game a disaster. If you do if you do two player mode on Rise of the Robots, player one is always stuck as playing as the, the fucking the story mode robot. But player two can be whoever they want to be. They can even be the story mode robot if they wanted to do that. But player one does not get to pick who they want to be. That is dumb. That is beyond dumb. But hey, against the AI, the cheap sweep. Took me to victory, man. Take it, taking it home. Taking it home. So, I know we've only done eight of the 24 challenges that I owe you guys. Uh, but I figured I was going to stop at midnight instead of just putting all 24 up right now. Because we still have another day of the marathon to do. So, I figure um, I'm going to... Uh, you know, I'm going to get some rest. I think you guys could get some rest and everything like that. So... Why is it 24? Well, because we have 1,150 raised. And then, plus the one I give you for free, so that's kind of like adding another 50 onto it. So that would be equivalent as, 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 as if we had raised $1,200, essentially. So that's 24 challenges. We've only done... We've only done eight. So... <laughs> I mean, it's... It's pretty ridiculous. But, uh, so far, I just... I mean, right now we're at $1,150. And I just want to say uh, thank you all so so much. I know I know Tabitha Bunny. I know I know she she tapped out. She was like, uh, "That's that's all I got until payday." But you guys you guys made a tremendous impact. Just LSD. Thank you for lurking. I I, I see you saying good night in chat. I appreciate you lurking. Those y'all that are, that are watching and just enjoying the show. I hope you had a fantastic time uh, today and tonight. Um, and I hope that in 10 hours from now, you'll join us right back here at 10 a.m. Central Time for the second half of our Extra Life uh, Charity Marathon. Tomorrow is uh, going to be going to be a big day, and Tabitha Bunny's right. It is it is going to be more than 24 hours in the end. Uh, we've gone over overtime several times at, at several marathons in the past. Uh, because if every challenge takes 15 minutes, we can all, we can theoretically do four or five of them in an hour. So <laughs> we got some time. But I'd rather you know. I, I know Sunday is kind of a bad day to be up late because people got school, people got work on Monday usually. But I'm gonna I'm gonna ride it out through Monday. So I figured that's you know. That's <laughs> regular man's unicorn. It's just like they say in Space Jam. Gonna take this thing into overtime. Damn right, we're doing it for the kids, man. I'm doing all these challenges for the kids. Whether we whether we run out of challenges or not, one way or the other. I mean, if if we run out of challenges in the box, then I can't do any more because we will not have any more. So all the other all the money that beyond that that we would have raised. Thank you, but it, I mean, I'm not gonna start next year off owing be being indebted to you all with like 14 challenges like if, if like that's what it comes down to we still got a lot more in the box to do though thank you so so much again for uh for ele for eleven hundred and fifty dollars on the first day that was uh, that was amazing smashed our goal in the first game on the on the schedule on on star fox i mean uh at really i think i think when tomorrow I think when tomorrow's half ends, I might get a little emotional about it because, like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm I am right now, just because um, reflex, you know, that's he's he's my brother, and he wouldn't be alive today without without the people at Driscoll, and being able to to do this so many years and and raising money, like like I said, we're a small time channel. I know there's people out there that got you know, thousands, tens of thousands of followers, and they've got silver and gold play buttons on YouTube, and they, they can walk into this charity and rack up $50,000 in, in just one marathon and be like, yeah, what of it? But for me, you know, we put on a good show. We put on a, an honest show. I mean, it's it's low budget, but it's got a lot of heart. It's got a lot of spirit. And uh, uh, just like just like Reflex says in that video that I put up, when we start the thing and when we do our intermissions and, and, and whatnot, his message is the way I feel about how about how you want to be remembered. I know, God knows, I've fallen off the horse in life. 
Lord knows I have. I think all of us have at some point. But what you do is you get back on. And if anything, when people look back at, at what I've done, for better or worse, I want them to look back at moments like this when we're only halfway through the marathon and we've already raised $1,100 and change and, and more. $1,100 plus for the Children's Hospital that saved my brother's life so that I don't know what that money is going to go towards in terms, in terms of specific treatments, but I know it's going to go towards work and miracles because my brother pulled through with the help from the doctors. Trust me, we needed the doctors and the nurses, but I think there was a little bit of something else there too. And, you know, I, I, really, I just really appreciate the fact that I've got you guys, I've got you guys in my life because... You all are the company I, I so desperately needed 13 years ago. And I'm glad I got you now. Better late than never. Hey, thanks for checking out Gatorbox on YouTube. We really appreciate it. If you like what you saw and you want to kick around with us live, follow us on Twitch because we do this several times during the week. And if you want to support this channel, you can do so by subscribing right here on YouTube, following or subscribing over on Twitch, or even making a pledge on Patreon. Your support over the years has been tremendous. Thank you so, so much. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video right here on Gatorbox.